Hey guys, what I have here is a ropes and an old ropes and uh, pocket knife, slip joint knife uh, with synthetic handles and carbon steel blade. And what I want to talk about in this video is uh, crinking. When a blade is crinked, what does that mean? Um, this is a cattle knife or an equal end stockman type, type knife. It has three blades. Uh, it has two back springs which are nicely patinaed. Um, and what, what a back spring does, that's what puts the tension on your blade that keeps it, keeps it open. It gives you that tension there. Um, and when you have a knife with three blades, uh, two of the blades have to be, and well, when you have th two springs, two of the blades have to be, have tension from one spring. So in this case, um, if you look at these two smaller blades, we have our sheep's foot blade, right? That you can see the spring raised up there on this spring. And you also have the pen blade here that's raised up with the same spring. So it's sharing the spring tension from the same spring. That's why you never want to open both uh, two blades that are share the same spring at the same time because that puts uh, a lot of pressure on that spring. And you have your date You can uh, you can actually break the back spring on your knife when you do that. So you want to bl open one blade at a time when it shares a spring like that. Um, but what I want to talk to you about today is uh, the crinking. Now you may have open. If you have a knife similar to this, you may open it. If you have a stockman or a whittler of some sort. You may open it and you may look at your blade, and you may say, um, "Let me make sure this is the right." Yeah. <laughs> You may say, wait a second, this thing's crooked. This thing's bent. What's going on? What did I what did I buy here? Why is this blade bent? Well, what the knife maker has to do to make all these blades fit properly, and that's what's so uh, amazing about especially custom uh, slip joint makers, where they make these things by hand. They have to fit these blades in a small space, multiple blades in a small, small space, without the blades touching each other and rubbing on liners and such. So when you're dealing with a three blade knife, you have to actually, and you can see it there, the blade has to be bent or, or in a way so it's out of the way of the blade that's sharing the same spring. That's called when a knife maker crinks the blade, gives it just a little bit of a bent to get it out of the way. It's not a flaw. It's not something wrong with your blade. It's just it's done there on purpose so it all fits together perfectly. The more blades you have in a in a knife, the harder it is to make. So if you ever look at custom knife makers, uh, slip joint makers, you'll notice their prices go up uh, the more blades you have in the knife. It's just harder to fit everything together um, in a small space. So anyway, just short video just to explain that. Uh, crinked blade, that's what it means. And that's why they uh, use it in a slip joint knife. Thanks, guys. Appreciate your time.